Okay, uh, welcome to another episode of Crime Pays with Bonnie Does It. Today we're here with my friend Alan. Say hi, Alan. Hello. And uh, we're, we're, tell us what we're doing. What are we looking at right now? So here we have um, some wood chips with lots of psilocybe cyanescence growing out of them. Psilocybe cyanescence. That's a very potent uh, psychoactive mushroom. Yep. And uh, what's it doing here? What is it doing? It's turning the wood chips into high quality dirt. Okay, and it's probably, I mean, this is an irrigated bed. It's a rose garden. See, they got the signs that don't pick the roses and whatnot. But they don't mind we're here, right? I don't think so. No, no, they don't mind that we're in a bed. So, and so it's getting irrigated, and so that's probably why these are popping up, because we haven't really gotten significant rain yet, though it is the season. The temps have gone down, but we haven't gotten enough rain for these to be popping. So once we get enough rain, these will be going off. Everywhere. Every, everywhere right now they're just in the irrigated places and so you got people that come by and they actually they'll take these little stem butts and they'll go put it in anywhere from like a tupperware container of straw or cardboard or other wood chips to other mulch beds in their yard wherever and yeah i mean the easiest thing to do is just uh, pinch the stem base off and just take this uh, stem base and plant it just in, in a fresh wood chip bed so you could just go or you could take those and just put them in a bag and just go spreading it around especially best time of year to do it is like right now maybe if you get a little bit more rain huh yeah probably I mean, it might dry out a little bit but if you're doing it like right around the time that it rains and it would have a better chance of taking off before it dries out so you could be you could be like a johnny psilocybe right yeah that's what you could do over yeah. there yeah you think people should do that definitely and when you teach people how to find and identify psilocybe mushrooms and pick them you should always um, always also teach them to plant stem bases in nearby areas. You know, a lot of times when I find some psilocybes, I will um, come back the next year and they won't be there because they do. They eat these wood chips really fast. Right. But I always plant the stem bases in ne nearby uh, wood chip beds, and then so a lot of times I'll come back two, three years later, and the the stem the the patch that I was picking isn't there anymore, but 50, 100 feet away. Um, you know, the new patches that I started with the stem bases will be fruiting really well. But definitely in a summer dry climate like California, they, they do best in places that are irrigated, right? Yeah, they definitely do best in irrigated places, ideally shady places. Though you can see this place here is m almost full sun. Okay. So, but all we're doing, we're just helping these guys, we're just helping these psilocybes turn wood chips into a soil, right? That's all we're doing. Right. They're making really high quality soil exceptionally high quality soil i gotta say so myself they don't want you picking the roses they said don't you see it says don't don't pick the roses you're not picking roses are you no no we'll leave the roses alone we have a nice spore print on the top of that one. Oh yeah there must there was another one growing above it huh yeah nice dark purple brown spore print on where's it. where's it what was the other one satharella carugus where was that yeah at? the satharella carugus are down in there oh yeah just, just little LBMs, huh? Yeah, and you can tell that they're not psilocybe because their stems are so fragile. You can see like the stems really break easily and then the cap on Satharella always wants to break up into little triangles. So like no matter what you do, you always end up with like little triangles when you mess with the cap. But they're just eating the same stuff the psilocybe's eating. Yeah. How do you think the science got here? You think somebody brought them? It's kind of hard to tell, but it's definitely possible. Might have just come out of chips, huh? It could have come in the chips. It could have come in the wind. It could be people throwing spore water or just like planting stem bases. Yeah. They got a sign. It says, well, do not pick fun, the roses. And, um, yeah, you too. Nice meeting you. Enjoy your See, it I says, do not place. pick the roses. But they don't say nothing about the mushrooms. You could pick all the mushrooms you want. Oh, right? You should definitely get some of that mycelium and go spread it. Go, they'll go take it to another, uh, you know, wood chip bed somewhere. So what's, they look a little, they're smaller than than usual, huh? Maybe because they're just growing on an irrigated bed. It's not humid enough. They haven't gotten any rain lately. Or not what? a whole lot of rain here. And then it's kind of full sun in this fall. So let's see. Oh, look at these. You got all kinds of little pinners, huh? Tiny pinners. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just little, little pinheads. So how, tell everybody how big these can get if they're growing, you know, say like a more northerly location with more humidity in a more amenable environment. How big do they get? Is this they what they can be uh, up to about three, four inches across and maybe, maybe weigh almost 30 grams fresh. And these are extremely potent, correct? Yeah, about three times stronger than cubes. Don't pick the roses. Don't pick the roses. Don't, no picking the roses. 
We'll I, leave the roses for someone else. We'll, we'll leave these roses. Look at the but look at that beautiful color on them. Look at that color. That beautiful bluing. It's like a caramel. It's like a russety caramel. I just showed it to one of these old, old ladies that was hanging out here. And they were asking what we were doing. We told them all about these mushrooms. Left out the fact that they're psychoactive. And, uh, you know, told them that they're just, uh, you know, turning the wood chips into dirt. And we got really excited. I gave one to the lady. She was looking at it in the light. You know, people get it. People get stoked about this stuff. You know, it's just the ecology of the uh, urban space. Look at it. That color, again, is just phenomenal. And then when they're very old, they kind of turn. See how, like, this, this little guy turned kind of like a black color? Like a deep blue. Ah. Oh. What a beautiful genus of mushroom, huh? See, look at a Psilocybe sunrise. Look at them gleaming in the sun. They do look like they're drying out a little bit. It's a little dry for them. Oh, Psilocybe sunrise. It's a new paint color. It's a new color. It's a new Crayola color. I wonder if anybody see. Didn't they have some Crayola that you could suggest your own name for? Uh, I think I think they were doing it. Someone should have suggested that Psilocybe sunrise. I was listening to Rick James in my head. What is that? This is a nice little group that came up. Yeah, look at that. They're all just eating the same chip. What yeah. do you think the chip is? What do you think? What oh, species it's really are... hard to tell what the wood chip is, but my guess is some kind of conifer, maybe Douglas fir. No shit. They, these eat, well, I guess they are North Pacific they Northwest species. They prefer hardwood, but if you give them, if conifer is what they have, they will eat conifer. Now, there's cyans in South Africa too, aren't there? Yeah, I got a sample of uh, Psilocybe cyanescens from South Africa, and I sequenced it, and it matched 100% with the epitype sequence of Psilocybe cyanescens from how, Germany. How does shit did it get down there? You think it was introduced by people, or...? It's really hard to tell. You can't ask it, but a, you know, an epigenetic study could maybe give you some idea of how oh, long it's been there. I bet these could help take you to a place where you could ask them. Definitely. Somebody lost the shoe. What, what, what happened here? How did that happen? Is it just kind of like, oh, look at that. That's kind of cute. That's kind of dainty. I don't think I'd fit in them, though. There's none over here. No, you get some over here. Cigarette, but what the fuck? People still smoke? It's fucking 2022. You get like, uh, all the kids, they do the vape pen. They do the vape pen. That's terrible, too, but, uh, you know. See, these, this, look. Look at how tiny that guy is. Still kind of dry. It's still kind of dry in this habitat. You know, we, we're going to get rain in a week. Maybe this will take off again. But they really, they really like it a little bit uh, moister and shadier. See, they're just these crappy dyed chips too. See that? Like some, some, you know, Vigoro Home Despot chip. And they love it. They're fucking going nuts. It'd be so much bigger if we had gotten more rain. It was a little bit humid, more humid and cooler. But next week, we're supposed to get some rain. So, Alan, tell us what we're doing now. We noticed the bed that didn't have any yet. So, there's a lot of wood chips here. They're just kind of sitting on top. They got lots of Psilocybe cyanescence mycelium on it. So we can take just a few of these chips and plant them in a nearby wood chip bed that doesn't have any yet. And so we're just doing this because we want to turn the wood chips to soil over there, right? Okay, so this is the, what we're doing is micro-remediation, right? Right, so I noticed over here that these wood chips, they're very, very wet. Like something, you know, the, the sprinklers are going in here. You know, they're not particularly deep. There's already some mycelium in there. It's not fruiting. Who knows what's Maybe species. over there in a shadier spot where there's yeah, thicker duff. Uh, like over here under the plants. That's a good spot to put it, I think. Yeah, this looks good. Protected from the sun, little microclimate. So I'll take these wood chips, kind of plant them in here, down underneath the other wood chips a little bit. And I'll take some more wood chips from around and kind of throw them on top because it wasn't really, you know, they need to be protected from the, the sun and the wind. But really this place needs, you know, a fresh dump of wood chips. Cause these chips so any good Samaritan should do that. Yeah, Find some definitely. good tacky uh, dyed wood chips from Home Depot and just come dump a bag here. Yeah, or like from a tree trimming company, you can just get a whole, fill up a whole truck bed. Right. Beautiful colors, soothing in all their delight. You're doing a very important ecological service, my friend. Thank you for that. Making wonderful soil out of these wood chips. We're going to have to get you more soon. We're going to have to feed you more. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Have a good rest of the afternoon. Go fuck yourself. Bye.